Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the PLC programming of a mixing tank. Now previously, we looked at the Easy PLC Machine Editor Design a Simulation. We created a mixing tank simulation using the Easy PLC Machine Editor. The tank included a control panel and operation indication. We will now use the Do More Designer programming software to program the ladder logic for this Easy PLC mixing tank application. The built-in simulator of the Do More Designer programming software will be used to actually run the program and control our Easy PLC mixing tank machine. Development of this program will be done using our five steps for PLC programming. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. The first step of PLC program development is to define the task to determine what, what must be done. Easy PLC Software Suite contains over 40 machine simulator examples. You can use these to improve your PLC programming skills. Previously, we created a mixing tank with control panel and indication light. Start the Easy PLC Machine Simulator. Select Start on the home screen or select Machines from the main menu. This will list all the available machines for you to program. Scroll down until you see the mixing tank that we previously made. Highlight this with your mouse and select Start. This will load our mixing tank simulation. The control panel will control the mixing tank operation. Selecting Start will start the mixing tank cycle. This will fill the tank, delay 20 seconds, then empty the tank. The start or the stop or emergency stop buttons will stop the cycle. The start button will be used to continue the cycle. Icons on the top right side of the window will allow you to move around this 3D environment. Once we have a good understanding of what must be done, we can now move on to the next step in our PLC program development. The view I.O. at the bottom of the machine simulator window will display the inputs and outputs required for this mixing tank example. The Easy PLC mixing tank example will require five digital outputs and three digital inputs. Select the analog outputs and inputs. We will use the tank level analog to determine the height of the liquid in the tank. The Easy PLC start mode will allow you to manually control the mixing tank simulator. This is ideal if you are unsure as to what an input or output is doing. While viewing the I.O. at the bottom middle of the machine simulator window, we can manually run the mixing tank without any control or PLC connected. Select the digital outputs that you want to enable. The digital inputs will respond to these outputs. Select the analog inputs on the right hand side to watch the level of the liquid in the tank. Move around the 3D environment and ensure that you know what each input and output represents. Develop a logical sequence of operation. Now a PLC programmer must know everything about the sequence and operation of the machine before programming. The mixing tank is an excellent example of learning PLC programming. A flowchart sequence table or logical sequence is used to fully understand the process that needs to be controlled. It must also answer questions like the following. What happens when electrical power or pneumatic air is lost? What happens when inputs and outputs fail? Do we need redundancy? This step is where you'll spend most of your time. Understanding everything about the operation will save you time. It will help prevent you from continuously rewriting the PLC program logic. Knowing all these answers of how the system is to react is vital in the development of the PLC program. Our Easy PLC Mixing Tank has very few inputs and outputs. We will walk through the logical sequence of operation. The emergency stop must be present in order for the lights to function. This is wired normally closed so that the input is active if everything is normal. If the emergency button is active, all of the lights will be off, indicating that the emergency stop has been active. If the emergency stop is normal and the cycle is ready to start, the push button light will flash. 
Selecting the start push button will start the cycle. The red stop button will be on and the running LED will be on. The tank will then start filling by turning on the input valve. Once the level of the tank reaches 2000 liters, the input valve will turn off, stopping the tank from filling. A memory retentive timer will time for 20 seconds. During this time, the LED running light will flash. This indicates to the operator that the mixing tank is in timing mode. Once the timer has expired, the output valve will turn on to empty the tank. When the tank gets to less than 10 liters, the output valve will turn off. The tank will now be empty and the cycle will stop. At any time during the cycle, the operator can start, stop, or hit the emergency stop. The cycle uh, upon starting up again will continue where it left off and complete the cycle. Now a PLC programmer must know everything about the sequence and operation of the machine before programming. So writing out what is supposed to happen will help to clarify what is required in the PLC program. This is just another method like flowcharts and sequence tables. Ask questions or review existing documentation to ensure that you know the logical steps to the machine operation. Develop the Do More PLC program. Using the information from the previous step, we can now program our Do More PLC. The BRICS Do More PLC series will take you through installing the program, communicating to the controller, instructions, and addressing of the controller. Select the system configuration under PLC on the main menu. You can now call this up by the system configuration under the tools menu in the project browser window. Select the configure button under the internal ethernet port configuration. We will use a static IP address for the ethernet port. Here are the, the settings for your ethernet port. Select OK. In the system configuration window, select Modbus TCP settings and ensure that the enable Modbus TCP server is selected. This is on by default with port 502 as a default number. Everything is left as the default. We can change some of these values if communication cannot be established reliably. Our PLC is now set up for Modbus TCP server to the Easy PLC Modbus TCP client. Make a note of the static IP address that we are using for the Do More PLC. This will be used later to connect to the Easy PLC machine simulator. Now the ladder logic program, we'll look at it now, and the first rung of the program will control the cycle start and stop. C0 is the output address for the start stop circuit. You can see that the stop push button, emergency stop or timer reset will stop the cycle. Only the start push button will start the cycle. Rung two will control the stop light and run LED light. If the cycle has started, then the stop light will be on. This indicates the operator the way to stop the cycle. If the cycle has started and the volume is less than 2000, then the run light will be on. This light will flash when the volume is greater than 2000 and the timer has not completed. Rung 3 controls the start light. It will flash when the cycle has not started and emergency stop is normal. The tank output input will be on when the cycle has started and the volume is less than 2000 liters and the timer has not completed. When the timer completes, it, this prevents the tank from continuously filling when it is below the 2000 level. An accumulative timer is used with a set value of 20 seconds. When the tank level is greater than 2000 and the cycle is running, the timer will be enabled. The timer reset happens when the tank level is less than 10 liters and the cycle is running. This timer is memory retentive. So if the cycle is stopped, the present value is remembered. So the cycle will continue where it started again and it starts again. The tank open output is on when the timer has timed out or done and the cycle is on. The timer reset will control when the tank output will then turn off. Our ladder logic program is complete. Download the program to the Do More Do Simulator PLC and ensure that the controller is in the run mode. We can now move on to our fifth step. Test the program. We will be using Modbus TCP on our Do More PLC simulator to communicate to the Easy PLC machine simulator. 
and currently have our mixing tank in start mode. The status of the machine simulator will be along the bottom of the screen. Currently we have no PLC connected. Select IO drivers on the bottom middle of the screen. The Easy PLC driver is selected by default. Select the down arrow on the driver name. Under the driver pull down menu, select Modbus driver. This driver will communicate Modbus TCP or Ethernet and Modbus RTU serial. Select the configure button. We can now enter the information for our Modbus driver. Select TCP IP. This really means the Ethernet port on our computer will communicate to the PLC. The digital inputs from MS or the machine simulator to the DoMore PLC will be MC1 to MC3. This will start at address 0 due to the offset of 1 and the first input is not used. Digital outputs from MS to do more PLC will be MI1 to MI6. This will start at address 1, again due to the offset of 1, and the first input is not used. Analog inputs start at MHR1, and the analog output for our level sensor will be MHR11. The analog scale factor is set to 10. This means that the value of 20,000 is really 2000.0. Modbus communication will not handle the decimal values well. Select the OK button. You will now see the inputs and outputs that we have specified for the Modbus driver. We can now manually assign the driver outputs to the PLC inputs and the driver inputs to the PLC outputs. However, the automatic assignment works well and will save you time. Select the automatic assignment from the driver option in the main menu. This will automatically assign the PLC I.O. to the machine simulator I.O. Select Start Driver and exit from the main menu. You will see on the bottom left side of the window that the driver is communicating to the PLC by the green light. Select View I.O. to see the inputs and output status of the machine simulator. Ensure that the PLC is in REN mode. We can see the operation of our Easy PLC mixing tank. Now using the Data View window of the PLC of the DoMore the designer programming software, we can watch the inputs and outputs operate. We can also monitor the ladder logic.
Now, if your program works correctly, it's time to move on. If not, you'll need to debug. This can be as simple as re-downloading or re-uploading your program, or as complicated as redesigning your logic altogether. To learn more about developing logic, check out our tutorials on our five steps to PLC programming development. When using Easy PLC, debugging is easily done with no damage to any equipment. You can have to modify your logic several times before you get everything right. That's okay, it's all part of learning. After all, trial and error is often easier said than done. You can practice your modification debugging by modifying the mixing tank in the following way. Add a cycle counter to track the number of cycles completed. Also, cycle three times when the start button is pressed. Let me know how you make out in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.